Hi YouTube, this is Adia. Um, please excuse me, I have been getting over a head cold, but today I wanted to share with you um, something that my husband and I discovered when we were at a local outdoor activity store um, this weekend. We saw these backpacks that were one person, three day backpacks, and they were supposed to have contained all of the, you, um, all of the necessary equipment you would need to survive for three days. I'm not going to speak to whether or not this is um, the type of thing that you would actually want to have because, you know, everybody has their own opinions on these things. So if this is something that you would want to have, um, this review is intended to kind of show you that maybe you can do the exact same thing for a lot less money than what was being charged. So the pack consisted of a lot of different items and I'll go through what those items are. I've What I've done is I've gone through and kind of scrounged them all up here. I priced everything and I went ahead and purchased a whole bunch of things at Walmart too so that I can give you what the quoted price was for the kit as well as the cost to just do it yourself. So this kit was one single backpack. It weighs about seven and a half pounds and it was supposed to last one person for three days. The price was $50 at um, REI, and it was in, like I said, it was intended to be like an emergency situation type thing. So first let's go over what their, <coughs> excuse me, what their items were. And then I'll go through and tell you when I went through and priced everything, and I wasn't looking for sales. This was, this is the kit that you would buy if you were just to go out and buy it today at your local big box or local retail stores. So first thing they had on their list of items was medical equipment. They had 10 of these 3 quarter inch by uh, 3 inch band-aids. They had one 2 by 2, I don't know if you can read that very well, one 2 by 2 gauze and one 3 by 3 gauze. They had half inch tape. Now, I, I, I'm going to pause for a second. Look how much tape. You have two pieces of gauze. I, I kind of thought that was overkill personally. But you know, whatever works best for you. Um, they had four alcohol swabs in the kit. They had one triple antibiotic ointment. Now, I actually did not buy this at Walmart. I bought this at a gun show. Um, so you can get these individual packs online. There's Lots of videos, um, the Seven Trumpet Preppers, for example, have a video on making your own out of uh, straws, drinking straws. So there's there's other options besides just this, but you know, that's that's what they had in theirs. They had a single-use instant cold pack. Now, this was the only item that I actually found on sale. Got two of these for 75 cents, so that was my single yay moment. They had a pack of tissues. It was just like this kind, not necessarily this brand. They had two what they called um, sterile, not sterile, what were they? They had two pads, basically. And Gentlemen, I, I don't know if that offends your sense of propriety or not, but it, you don't have to use them specifically for what their intended use is for. These are also very good for stopping severe bleeding and um, to use as bandages. So they had two of these. They had one food bar. I got this at Sportsman's Warehouse, and this is a 3,600 calorie bar. It's intended to last you for three days. They had 12 little packs of water. That's my cat. They had 12 little packs of water in there. I went ahead and put mine in one of my Ziploc bags. I'll get to Ziploc bags in a sec. They had two emergency candles. They had two hot hands. That's a two pack. They had one emergency blanket, okay, it was the Coglins kind. They had one emergency poncho, which I don't have here. Walmart refused to sell it to me because of it being already called. Those are normally 88 cents at Walmart. Um, they're not that expensive. They're also not that hard to make out of a trash bag. Um, they're very easy to find. So I, it's not shown here for that purpose, but you can probably get it at your local Walmart. Mine might just be being difficult. They had emergency matches that were waterproof. These came out of an old MRE kit, but you can just as easily, if you're trying to reproduce this, 
just as easily go with this kind too. Now they were using book matches. I understand that um, there are different types of matches. Um, they had an emergency whistle. Now my particular emergency whistle is very expensive. This is a very loud, loud whistle. Yours, if you were doing this on the cheap, probably wouldn't be, but I did go ahead and include that in the price just because mine was a little pricier. They had medical gloves. Here, just two vinyl medical gloves. They had a flashlight with two batteries. They had work gloves. Now, my work gloves are, again, they're much heftier than what was in that pack. That pack had cotton gloves with rubber grips, rubber the little rubber dots like you have on the non-skid socks. These are leather work gloves. These are very durable. And so these are, obviously, these are a better quality than those cotton work gloves would be. Uh, last but not least, they had a military-style can opener. They had a razor knife. And they had five Ziploc bags. Now, one of my Ziploc bags is used to hold my water right now. Here's the other five. Okay, so this whole thing, plus a backpack to carry it with, cost $50. By going through and shopping piecemeal um, and just buying you know, each individual component. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mention duct tape. Duct tape. Mine's black. I just, it was cheap. By, anyway, by shopping for each individual component, I wasn't shopping for sales. I mean, I did manage to get a sale item there, but I wasn't shopping for sales. I wasn't shopping for good deals. It was, I just went out and just did it. Okay. This costs $33 to just put it together yourself. So you can see that if you're just, if you, if you just put a little bit of time and effort, like if this was the system that you determined was sufficient for you, and you just put a little bit of effort into thinking about it, you can actually save yourself, you know, quite a bit of money there. I mean, that's, you know, $30, $33 compared to $50. I mean, so now let's say that you did go ahead and you did have $50 to spend. So rather than going out and buying the prepackaged $50 kit that was like this, you could actually just beef this thing up a little bit. So here's the ways that I went about beefing it up a little bit. Um, again, this is just if this is something that's sufficient for you, these are just some ideas that might help you. So the first thing that I would say that you need to kind of beef up a little bit is the medical section. So I added more band-aids that costs very little. I added some more gauze. I added some more antibiotic ointment, but then I also added some hydrocortisone cream. Now I actually got these, like I said, I got these at a gun show for 25 cents a piece, which I thought was a little high. You could order them online. There's lots of options for those. Next thing I want to add is, I want to add a few safety pins. You never know when you're going to need these, and they're actually very useful. I wanted to add some Benadryl. Um, in the event that I got a bee sting, Benadryl will help slow that down. Uh, same with my husband. I'm not allergic. My husband is. But that just will help slow down the reaction. Um, a couple throat lozenges. You don't know what kind of allergens. There might be smoke in the air, that sort of thing. Alka-Seltzer. Little tablet. It's got acetaminophen in it and a nasal decongestion in it and uh, an antihistamine in it. So that's nice. Eye drops. I had a whole bunch of these buddies, but single use eye drops, very good for a little medical kit and a homemade ace bandage. I can talk to you about how to make this if you're interested, but they're, they're pretty nice. So that's how I would beef up the medical section. Um, notice the toiletries consist of this and for the ladies, this. That's your toiletry section. I really don't think that that is sufficient for toiletries. So I took a lead from the MREs, that's toilet paper and an MRE, and decided to make my own. So I would add these extra things. So this is just, I use pinking shears and other craft scissors, and I just cut out from brown paper bag and made my own little toilet paper wraps. 
it's, it's dirt cheap. In fact, it's free for the most part, practically. I'm also going to beef up the feminine hygiene for myself. My husband gets to just keep the two. Um, now, the reason that these are included, gentlemen, you may want to skip ahead. Ladies, the reason that this is included is if you're not able to change your clothing, this will help at least, you know, the panty liners will help at least provide you with some level of sanitation that you're not getting otherwise. Additionally, I'm going to throw in a lot more alcohol swabs because that's going to at least let me wipe my hands off and it's going to let me get a little bit cleaner. Sanitation is very important. Um, in terms of oral hygiene, I'm going to add a few of these dental picks. That's just to help out. That's not really for anything. You know, if you get something stuck in your teeth, you, you have a solution there. And then last but not least, I'm going to toss some soap in because we it's just not a very sanitary kit. Next, let's talk about the food situation. This was not a very uh, inexpensive purchase. This was $8 for the brick. Also, these taste really bad. Um, there's no real good way to sugarcoat that. They just, they taste horrible. So, you may want to actually go through your condiment stash and add a few things to help make that taste a little better. I have some hot sauce in here, some ketchup, some honey, some lemon juice, just some items that are going to make that palatable. In an emergency situation, you know, you may not be taking the food that you want if this is the kit for you. You may not be taking a whole bunch of the food that you want, but you certainly want to be able to eat it. And like I said, that's just, these, those things are very, they don't taste very good at all. Um, next, let's talk about shelter. This is the shelter that you are provided with with this kit. You get a poncho, which isn't shown here. You get a space blanket, and you get a hot hands warmer. I'm going to beef this up just a little bit by throwing in a drop cloth and a length of rope. Now, both of those are also very inexpensive, but you can actually build a little tube tent out of that. Um, you can build a water still out of that. It just really adds to your comforts and adds to your shelter without adding a lot to your weight. Now, fire starting implements. I'm going to add some more candles to this. I'm going to add some lighters to this because these are also very inexpensive and they're very lightweight and reliable. You can get these to go even if you might not be able to get this much to go. And then last but not least, I'm going to add a bit of aluminum foil because, and I folded it up real small. You can make cups out of this, bowls, you can um, cover a wound and keep it from getting exposed. It, this, is, this is a good thing to include in this kit and it doesn't cost you anything, basically. I mean, I think this whole sheet that I folded up here is a penny. So that adds a lot to your costs and then, or I'm sorry, to your kit. And finally, this is uh, checkers pieces that I've wrapped up in plastic and put together. So you've got some games. You've got something to amuse yourself. Okay, so we started with the previous kit was $50. This is what we've added now. And this is $50. So you can see that if your intent is to spend $50 for a three-day, one-person backpack style kit, you can do quite a bit more to do it yourself than to go and buy a prepackaged kit. So you may be saying, where are you going to put all this? Well, I built a homemade cinch sack. These are very popular right now. Um, you'll notice that it's got more rope attached to it. So you can have additional rope if you want. It's also made out of a pillowcase, an old pillowcase, so you can stuff it and use it to help you add to comforts when you're sleeping. It'll feel more like a pillow. All of this fits in here, and the weight of this entire kit is 8 pounds. So we went from 7 pounds, 7 ounces, to 8 pounds, and you can see you actually get quite a bit more for really not adding a substantial amount of weight to your kit. So anybody who's considering those backpack kits, I hope that this YouTube video has been helpful for you in thinking about the various things that you can add and do yourself, and it, it, it just really makes all the difference in the world, because you can, I mean, for example, these the, the medication, you can customize that to your own needs. 
um, the, the first aid, you can see, or I'm sorry, not the first, the sanitation, you can see that you really need to, to increase a little bit here because the tissues alone, that's not going to be enough. You also need toilet paper probably and soap. Make yourself feel like a human. Um, and then and then creature comforts, you know, getting shelter built in here. All of these things are very inexpensive. And again, I hope this has been useful for anybody considering one of these prepackaged kits. Thank you very much, and please leave any comments you have in the section below. Thanks.